Uh oh. Coming from his truck again. Mm. Well, I'd come across some information a couple, of day, a couple of days ago. And I looked into it, was looking into it and stuff, and I think this is something that should be uh, addressed and taken seriously. Um, once again, it's 4th of July coming up. And uh, celebrating this great nation and our freedom. But uh, Department of Homeland Security has issued uh, its warning for terrorist attacks on on and around the 4th of July. Now we we see this happen every year, you know, and have ha seen it happen every year for over a decade at least, you know. But in one of the articles I was reading it said it's a more serious and a more serious of a threat, although they don't have any specific threats. But let me just read some notes I jotted down here. Let me take my glasses off. Can't read up close with them. All right, ISIS attacks. You know, Homeland Security. They they've, they've uh, issued the warnings in New York City and London, and anywhere really in the country. Um, they've noticed that a, a rise in uh, Americans, our own people here, joining ISIS and Al Nursa, which is another terrorist off branch. If you're not familiar with them. Uh, national security analysts say the threat is different and serious this year <coughs> not like it wouldn't be serious every year but uh but if they're saying that then maybe there's a little bit more activity than what they uh have seen before um and uh, you know every year they they've issued these type of things nothing's happened you know around these times but you know, I'm just doing this so you can just be aware of your surroundings. If you're in large gatherings of people, you know, you're out looking at the fireworks, the town displays and things like that that they do. Just, you know, where a lot of people are that would be considered soft target locations. You know, um, we've seen, you know, here in this country and other in primarily Europe and England and stuff where people are just driving their trucks into crowds of people you know it happens and it's unfortunate that it's that way but um, just be aware of your surroundings that's all I'm saying just keep your head on a swivel enjoy the enjoy the night though don't be wor overly worried just you know be aware if you're out with your friends and family but um, you know they're warning about the sleeper cells because there's thousands of these uh, ISIS fighters that are on the loose. You know, ISIS has pretty much been defeated on the battlefield. You know, we've pretty much taken care of them on that. There's still little pockets of resistance and things here and there. But, um, you know, they're, but ISIS and the whole Islamic state the radical Islamic side of it is really an idea an ideal thing you know that's uh, more of like I said an ideal it's not just a military that you can defeat on the battlefield it's a thought process and belief system that these people have and it's everywhere and you know we have a lot of the radical left in this country too that would actually be sympathetic to those we've already seen some sympathy from some of our, even our own elected officials you know with terrorists uh, Canada also you know they pretty much saying if ISIS fighters wanted to return home to Canada you know after they went to the battlefield over there that they're welcome with open arms I mean like really <laughs> you know I mean come on now so you know southern border also come across from there and the northern border through Canada they're just welcome to come in so something to be aware of uh, okay, the bulletin warns though um, okay you know the bulletin warns though that ISIS has already renewed calls for sympathizers to launch their own attacks inside the United States you know uh, 
we've seen them use everything from firearms, knives, vehicles, trucks, even explosives, you know. Remember the Boston Marathon bombing and a few other things that's happened. And uh, they've even, on some of their, like, their media that they put out like a video and things like that that shows these posters i'll throw these in as i'm talking on the video you'll see the posters that they've had and um you know it shows attacks on in london and it shows attacks in uh like new york city in the in the uh the um the uh, the brooklyn the brooklyn brooklyn bridge and and uh, there's even a soldier running away from the fight you know an american soldier running away from the fight which I kind of find hilarious when you see this American soldier. He's unarmed completely, you know, and there's no gun in his hand, <laughs> you know. So, I mean, I, I, but, and then a burning, a burning plane, you know, and things like that, though. But some of the things that they say, that they're saying on this, in, in these videos and these posters that they're putting out is like, no, O Crusader, infidel, that you, all a willing, will soon be pursued in your own homeland. This is the caption that is on some of these posters. And also, you will be pursued in the streets and in the alleyways, and you will burn by the flames of IEDs. So, those are some pretty, pretty threatening statements, you know. So, they're willing to attack us here. You know, um... I'm not, you know, I know, and a lot of people that have, are aware of terrorism and terrorism in our own com country and things like that know that there are, there have, you know, are and still probably are some operating in this country as like, you know, training camps. I mean, for a while there, when 44 was president, there was, there was uh, 24 two or 24 known terrorist training camps in this country can you believe it where that you know now i've known i know that since trump has been president now whether you know it has more to do with him or not you know there's a whole nother discussion there but the point is is that they have busted a few of these out and they have arrested many people they've even turned some of them loose which i don't get you know, but anyway, that proves that they were here, that they are here, and there is training camps, you know, so you know that wherever there's large groups of of some of these people, these refugees and things like that that have been brought over, that there is scuttlings of talk of attacking, you know, I mean, there has to be, there's some of these people that just, they don't, they hate, they hate this country, and, but they'll take advantage of every one of the liberties and freedoms that we have to, uh, to achieve their goals and uh, ruin it for everybody else pretty much. But my point of the video is, I'll put the links of these articles in the uh, description box. But the, the, the point of these articles though are, you know, and the, my, me doing this is just be aware of your surroundings, my friends. I mean, keep your head on the swivel, enjoy yourselves we live in the greatest country on the face of this planet and we have some things in this country that a lot of other countries don't have we have the freedom to defend ourselves and own firearms we have the freedom of speech no matter what side of it you you, you talk on whether it's hate speech it is protected under the first amendment and kind of like what ron paul says you know it's it's the uh the hate speech, not not necessarily hate speech, but the, it, you have the right to say whatever you want and be protected with that. And I agree with that. I mean, we see some lot of idiotic people saying a lot of stupid stuff, but they are free to say it. But there's also the consequences to that free speech. But we have that here in this country. That's a freedom that we have. We have those Bill of Rights that is protected under the Constitution, that's granted to us, our freedom by the good Lord and the government wrote it on paper saying these are protected your divine rights as humans and we have some that want to take those things away from us but my point is is be, be enjoy the, the holiday enjoy your lives but be aware 
you know, because this could happen anywhere. These threats I read are not just specific to New York City and London, which is not here, but still, you know, um, it could happen anywhere, any anytime, you know, so just wanted to pass that on to you. Just be aware and uh, keep it heavy, folks. Have a great 4th of July. America! <laughs>